All right, welcome back to Fallout 3. Again. Thanks for uh, joining me again. We're just outside of Rivet City. We spent uh, a large portion of the last episode making our way over here. This is kind of interesting. Whoa! This great big uh, like statue thing here. I wonder if this um, was a real thing, like the statue is actually does exist somewhere in DC on the water's edge. I don't know. Please, God. So thirsty. So thirsty. What's, who's thirsty? Somebody said they're thirsty. Are you thirsty? Who's thirsty? It's not you. I'm sure you guys heard that, right? Somebody was talking about being thirsty. This is the hey caravan there. guard. So I'm pretty sure it was not him who's thirsty. What's up? Meta. Okay. All right. Meta. Nice. Hey, Darko. Welcome back. Statue looks like the Westworld logo. It does, doesn't it, Emily? Thought that looked familiar. Um. Well, there is a uh, part of a toilet here. That's kind of interesting. Whoa. Excuse me, Jericho. Well, let's see what happens if we go into Rivet City. Oh, maybe this is a guy that's real thirsty. So the reason that we're here... Uh, you know, the same old thing. We're here for our good friend Moira back in uh, Megaton. Uh, for her Wasteland Survival Guide, she has enlisted us uh, to help her write it. And we are going to learn the history of Rivet City. So I have a feeling there's probably going to be a lot of talking in this episode. Probably a lot of talk, not much action. We will see what happens. Hello, Michelle. Hope you're doing well. Alien Vector, hello. Elementor is here. Snowwalker's here? All right. So I think this guy's thirsty. What's up, Carlos? How's it going, man? Please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. Oh, he's so thirsty. Will any water do? <laughs> or here, have this purified water. Or no, find your own water, or I have to go now. So what would my super jerky character do? Well, I kind of want to say, find your own water. Uh, but what does that do for me? Well, you know, what do I get out of that? Is it possible that if I give him something, maybe I'll get something in return? Uh, last gas game, if any water will do. I've been drinking this irradiated shit, and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. Oh, he he has a taste for purified water. I see. Hmm. What do we do here? Do we give him water or not? I don't know, man. I mean, I feel like my character would be like, dude, find your own stinking water. But I don't know. I also kind of think that maybe he might be thinking maybe we get some gold or gold caps out of this guy. But I mean, look at this guy. He doesn't have any caps. So, nope. Find your own water, dude. Oh, I guess that's understandable. <laughs> Gotta watch out for numero uno and all. That's right. Just leave me. Okay, I'm just going to leave you. You, you. you have nothing to offer me, Carlos. I'm going on. Now, me personally... <laughs> I feel bad about that, but my character, you know, why should I give that guy water? I'm not going to get anything from him. Hey, Matthew B., welcome back. Element Sora, I think I said hi to you. Madanine, hello, hello. Uh, well, I'm here, right? This is uh, this is Rivet City right now, right, Meta? I think. Uh, I, well, you know, I'd get karma for doing that, Darko, but I don't, I don't care about karma. My character doesn't care about karma, I don't think. Hey, Crackmatic, I just started. You haven't missed anything. Uh, there's a security intercom. I don't know. Let's let's uh, let's talk to the security intercom. Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. Oh, okay. Simple as that. Please. Water. We just wait for the bridge to extend. Now I don't remember really anything about Rivet City, so I'm real curious to see what's here. Cool. All right. So they've got it's like our own little city here. They got a drawbridge and everything. They're probably not going to like my character very much. As a matter of fact, they might not even let me in. Michelle, you do not like Rivet City at all? <laughs> Hold it right there. Oh, okay. State your business in Rivet City. Well, I'm looking for my father, or I'm here to do research on the city's history, or I don't answer to you, pal, or I'm just run wandering around. Or we could say, forget it, I'm out of here. Uh, well, I mean, I could say I don't answer to you, pal, but I mean, it is his city and he's got the gun. Um, you know, I'm just here to do research on your city's history. That's why I'm here. Research, huh? I can't help you there. But you're free to ask around inside. Just don't start any trouble. 
Mm, I'm kind of lost. Can you help me? Um, I heard you're on some sort of city council. Uh, I didn't hear that. Why did you all decide to live on this rusty old tub? Do you know about River City's history? Thanks for the help. Um, why did you all decide to live on this rusty old tub? We're the safest, most secure city in the wasteland. Nothing can get in here without our say-so. Okay. Well, do you know about Rivet City's history? Maybe we could get Rivet City's history from this guy and then turn around and go back to Megaton. Case closed. I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, now do I? I've got to worry about what's happening on it now. Okay. Um, well... I mean... I heard you're on some sort of city council, I guess I'll say that. Even though I don't remember hearing that. Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to talk about citywide issues. It's pretty informal. The council doesn't have much real power. Okay. What can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's one of the members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Mm. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Oh, the, the stern end. Yeah, that's it's this way, right? Um, well, let's see what happens if I say I'm kind of lost. Can you help me? I suppose. I suppose. <laughs> so I'm going to need a maxed out lockpick. Well, then I'm in trouble here, Meta, because my character does not have really high lockpicking skills. It's just something I decided early on that this particular character is not going to have high lockpicking skills. Uh, where is Dr. Lee's lab? The door on the left goes to the stairwell. From there, just keep heading west. Okay, stairwell, keep heading west. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Oh, anything else you could tell me? I suppose. What about uh, the stores? Are there any stores here where I could sell some stuff? Hangar deck, right in the middle of the ship. Can't miss it. Okay. But it's closed now. Oh. Check back in the morning. It opens pretty early. Okay. And uh, what else can you tell me? I suppose. You can tell me where can I get medical help? Dr. Preston is in the upper deck, four section. That's the top interior floor in the southwest end. And he's very helpful, right, Florisol? Hey, stranger, let me tell you everything about the place that I live in. Plus, they just extended the, the, uh, the bridge to me. They don't know who I am. I mean, I'm loaded with guns, <laughs> me and this other guy that I'm with. Let's extend the bridge and let these people in. I suppose. Hey, JDZ, welcome back. Is there some place I can sleep? The common room is free, but the beds are lousy. It's on the midship deck. A big open room with lots of beds. You can't miss it. And if you want to sleep well rested, rent a room from Vera Weatherly. She's on the upper deck. Okay, one more thing. I suppose. Finally, who's in charge around here? Hey, Kartik, welcome back. It doesn't work like that. I'm in charge of security. Dr. Lee runs most of everything else. Bannon kind of represents the merchants. He also owns Potomac Attire. Mm, can't wait to visit that place. All right, dude. Thanks for the help. Carry on. <laughs> Michelle says bad lice all over the place, I bet. <laughs> uh, corrects me up. Space out here. I don't like it. Too much open space out here, whether you're going to love Rivet City, dude. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? <laughs> oh, 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 oh boy, have I. Every time I look in a mirror. Alright, this will go to a stairwell, and this will go... Ooh. Okay, we need to pick this door to get into the Rivet City Market. But that's right, he said it was closed now. So we can't even go in there anyway, that's fine. Hey, Mystic, welcome. Uh, Jericho, you know, I could, I could smell your breath, dude. You don't need to stand right in front of me. Who's this? Nice to see you. Oh, hi, Vera Weatherly. Is it really nice to see me? You don't know me very well, do you, Vera? Charmed to meet you. I'm Vera Weatherly of the Weatherly Hotel. The first thing I notice is how colorful she is. I mean, it was so gray out there in the wasteland. It's nice to see some color. Uh, we could say, we could try to use our speech and say, have you heard any interesting gossip? Maybe we could learn something from her. Well, Ooh, cool. I worked. really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? No. He's addicted to chems. His poor wife, Cindy, is at her wit's end. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. 
Every, everybody remember that. Any other fun rumors flying around Rivet City? You haven't oh, nice. heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. Oh, somebody make a note of that. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. Oh, God, Emily. <laughs> Emily went on a date with someone who chain smoked like Jericho, and you could smell his breath even from that close up. <laughs> that sounds terrible, Emily. I, I take it there was not a second date. Hey, Captain McCloud, good to see you again. Savage War, hello, hello. Uh, wow, our 38% speech has worked twice in a row. Let's see if it works again. They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, just staring out over the city. Hmm, okay. So, uh, how much for a room? Only 120 caps. You won't get a better deal than that. Uh, no thanks. Okay, then. What's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. Okay. So what's it like living on a giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Okay. What's a Sid quest, Meta? Uh, let's see. Let's ask her if she knows anything about Rivet City's history. Well, I could tell you all about my hotel. But I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Hmm, okay. Well, could you at least tell me what you've heard? Because I don't really care whether it's true or not. Oh my gosh, look! <laughs> we completed it. We learned the history of Rivet City. <laughs> now we can optionally check other sources to confirm. But we could return to Moira right now and get this stupid quest over with. <laughs> Uh, well, let's at least uh, hear what she knows about Rivet City. Well, if it'll help. I once heard that this place was covered in Myrlurks 50 years ago, raiding all around the city. Eventually, some poor soul they thought would be lunch fought back and cleared out the whole ship. He set up the city in their place. <laughs> they say he was the first counselor for the upper deck and lived here to his death. Can't say I believe it a bit, but it's a nice tale to tell. Yeah, that was a nice tale. So you meant side quests, Meta. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> it's just funny that, yes, Sid was even uh, capitalized. That's funny. Uh, okay, so she told us a little bit of something. Um, well, I'm... Is there anyone who knows more we can ask her? Actually, now that you mention it, Seagrave may know more about it. He's been here since he was just a boy. And I can't imagine anyone knows this ship better than he does. Who did she say? I wasn't paying attention. Who did she what? say? Who was it? Actually, Seagrave. Okay, Seagrave. All right, remember that name, Seagrave. So long, Vera. Farewell. All right, well, uh, this is the way to the common room, to St. Monica's Church, to the science lab. Uh, it's open. Midship deck is open, but let's look around out here first just to see if there's anything interesting. Uh, looks like there's some stairs that go down. Uh, this is where we came in, I think, right? Ah, jeez. What's up here? Oh, the Weatherly Hotel is here. Rivet City Clinic. This is kind of cool, really. Neat piece of equipment there. Alright. And we could keep going up to the bridge tower. Oh, we could go into the bridge. They don't mind. Just go right on in. Yeah, let's start at the top and work our way down. Why not? Hey, Jesper, welcome. Good to see you. So I'm, I, I always think, Jesper, it, it's, isn't it like dinner time in your part of the world right now? I like to think that you're just sitting there eating dinner with your laptop next to you, watching my video, my live stream. <laughs> we are in uh, Rivet City, you can see here. Uh, I've decided to start at the top and work my way down. Let's go up to the flight deck. Let's check it out, man. Guard said the gunfire went on That's why I'm glad I'm in here. Good old Rivet City. Me too. Nothing is getting through these walls. Well, I heard a conversation. I don't know where the people were.
this this is a big big ship it is really really big huh Um, okay, so there's a bunch of ships here. Or not ships, planes, aircraft. Um, probably can't fly any of them, which is a shame, because that sure would be fun, wouldn't it? But uh, I'm just going to take a little walk. See if there's anything interesting over here. It's, uh, that's a long way down, man. So it looks like this ship is split in half. That's kind of cool. Where you, where you going? Watch where you're going. Jericho. Oh, look at Jericho. Look at that. Are you teaching me how to do that, Jericho? <laughs> That's a pretty neat trick you got there. So it's 8.30. Oh, I, th I thought it was earlier than that, Jesper. Okay. You have a late dinner while working and watching. Perfect timing. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> we got another door here. This will take us to the bridge tower. And, um, two ways to the flight deck there. Everything looks okay here. Okay, thank you, thank you for checking in. Thanks for letting me know. It's kind of a mess, dude. Why don't you clean this place up? Sheesh. Here we've got, uh, another door to the flight deck. Jeez. Marketplace that way. I want to go up. Like I said, I want to start at the top and work my way down. It's past midnight where you are, Kartik. Hey, Dragon Elf, welcome back. A couple guys up here sleeping. What time is it anyway, here in the game? Oh, 2.42 a.m. Okay, I didn't realize it was that late. This will take us out to the flight deck again. Let's see what's out here. Okay, so we're up on like a little, um, I don't know, catwalk kind of thing thinking that maybe this is where I heard those people talking. For some reason, I'm allowed to take that ammunition. It's not stealing. And that's pretty much all there is to this part. Cool, you can still see the Capitol building over there, the Washington Monument over there. Well, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, Michelle. Uh, Jesper, 20,000 subscriptions should be in about... Oh, gosh. Um, let's see. Every... Uh, I think in about 10 days I should hit if it hit uh, 20,000 subscribers, I think, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It's real cool. <laughs> oh, look. Here's a robot. What's up, Private Jones? This area is off limits to civilians. Oh, well, maybe you should put up a sign or something. Sir, yes, sir. Jones reporting. Um, well, we could say, um, hmm. So what's your story, Slag Heap? Or at ease, Private, I'm here to inspect the armory. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see if we can inspect the armory. I'm currently at 19.8 right now, Darko. Thank you. Yeah, so I think in about 10 days I'll get to... Because I average about 100... Is that right? 100 new subscribers every 5 days right now. So yeah, about 10 days I should get there. Hey, Clown Basher, welcome back. <laughs> Let's see if we can fool this stupid robot. Sir, you are not authorized to enter the armory. Sir! Oh, well. Please don't make me shoot you, sir! Okay, fine. Don't shoot me, then. Sir, yes, sir! What's your story, Slag Heap? Sir, this Slag Heap <laughs> is guarding the armory, sir! <laughs> Why does he keep calling me sir? I'm just a dumb old civilian. Sir, yes, sir! Well, let's try, let's see, speech 28%. Before we talk to him, oh crap, there's no way to back out of this, is there? <laughs> no, okay, hold on. So you are, please. Okay, um, can I get my speech up, my speech check higher? I'd like to try to do that, see if I have a better chance of lying to this guy. Speech plus 10, <laughs> I'm gonna put on the naughty nightwear. <laughs> that gets my speech up plus 10. And then I probably have some aid in here or something that will actually help with speech as well. So, um, let's slowly scroll through all this stuff here and see if anything... Let's see, speech... 
let me see here. Speech is part of what? Speech is part of uh, charisma, probably, right? Okay, so if I can get my charisma up, then I get my speech up. So anything that helps with charisma is going to help with speech. So let's see if I have any charisma boosting things in here. Just scroll through here real quick. You don't mind waiting. Um, it's kind of looking like no. Okay, well, I got the, the naughty nightwear on. That's going to help a lot with speech. And it truly is the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it, Emily? <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Well, we've got a 38% chance of telling him that there's a security emergency on the flight deck and getting rid of him, so let's give it a shot. Sir, it works. this slag heap appreciates the intel. Moving to secure the flight deck, sir. Cool, go away. Nice. I got the whole place to myself now. Not real sure why I wanted to do that, but, um, yeah. Huh, well, I can't get through there anyway. Somebody's sleeping, but I don't see anybody. Um, hmm. Boy, I mean, I don't know if anybody's got their eyes on me or not. I'm afraid to take this stuff, but, uh, you know, it's in my character's nature to do exactly that. I mean, look. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, jeez, Jericho, what are you doing, man? <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, DMG, you joined. I didn't see you join. Jer Jesper, you're working on a tribute drawing simultaneously with the new artwork. Oh, it just scrolled off the top of the screen. Okay, well, that's cool, man. I can't wait to see it. Oh my gosh, we just killed, we just killed Commander Danvers. Oh my gosh. Jericho, well, it's my own damn fault. That's what I get for um, stealing stuff. I guess she must have just walked in, right, as I was stealing stuff. Uh, <laughs> that karma is my theme music. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> well, veto the killing spree, you think, Emily? Go back to my latest save? I don't know, man. I mean, I got I to gotta start living with the consequences. You know, I got to. But the thing is that I kind of remember her name. And I think that she had... Well, she has an armory key, though. Oh, Danvers' key. You could sell those cigarettes. Security uniform. Help with small guns. But I don't need to be carrying around something that weighs 20. Oh. <laughs> I get, I'm getting quite a few votes for reloading. Uh, she's, she's probably somebody important, isn't she? Hey, Joshua, I didn't see you join, man. Welcome, welcome. Yep, down the crapper. Not even ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> Snowwalker, no, that's not why I decided to be a jerk, just so I could steal everything. It's just a nice, uh, uh, uh perk of being a jerk. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. All right, well, it looks like the reloads have it, so let's do that. We're going to go back to... Uh, where I entered the bridge tower. So that seems to be the... I, I need to be more careful. I, I, uh, I, don't, I don't need hey to be... There. I really didn't need to steal that stuff. I really didn't. So, and I mean, do I really care if this guy goes away? I mean, I can't get into the armory anyway with him standing here. That'll just take it back out the flight deck. Are you going to shoot at me? Let's try this again. Man, a 38% chance here and I made that check last time but we're going to put on the naughty nightwear again and see if we can get rid of this guy so I could look around sir yes sir private jones reporting oh michelle's michelle you're too slow <laughs> so slow too slow michelle i wasn't going to reload but so many people said yeah reload so i reloaded sir that's a really oh. stupid idea sir oh, get out of my face all right Sir, this slag heap is guarding the armory, sir. Man, it stinks in here. It stinks in here? Alright. I could probably go outside. Let's go check this out. But yeah, Michelle, honestly, I was like, well, uh, you know, that's that's my karma. I need to start taking it more seriously. Huh. How do I get over there? I can't jump over this. There's some ammo over there. I want it. I don't think I want to drop down there.
man, I mean, I, I although if Jericho wasn't there and Danvers walked in here and saw me stealing that stuff, she would have just opened fire on me, right? I don't think I would have had the option to try to pay a fine or go to jail or anything. Oh, this is Danvers right here. Hey, Danvers. Oh, man. I think I could pickpocket her and get the key to the armory. I could do that. <laughs> Jericho always causing problems. Oh, jeez. Emily says there should be an official brand book for this character of what's on brand for his personality and what's not. That's actually a good idea, Emily. I'm having a hard time remembering what this character should be like. Because it's so different than characters that I normally p play. Okay, well, oh, let's see if we could walk around here. Boy, it's dark out here. Uh, here's a little bit of ammo. This is that ammo, ammo box we were looking at from over there. And then here's a medical brace. I don't know if it's worth picking up. All right, let's go back in. <laughs> That's cool. A couple people from Denmark watching. Anybody else besides Jesper and Meta uh, watching from Denmark? I need to get rid of this guy, but I don't think I can now, can I? Sir, yes, sir. Yeah, I can't. He's here for good now. There's nothing I could do about it. Sir, you are not authorized to enter the armory. Sir! Well, I, Please don't make me shoot you, sir! I really don't need to go in the armory. I don't think I do. Um, let's, let's wake Danvers up and talk to her. Maybe you don't know who you're talking to. I'm Commander Danvers, Assistant Chief of Security. <laughs> That's the first thing she says. Um, maybe you don't know who you're talking to. I should have left you dead, lady. You're in Denmark as well, Captain McLeod. That's so cool. So at least three people here. That's so cool. Huh. That's what, What's the population of Denmark anyway? Do you guys know? Uh, let's see here. Whoa, I just wanted to ask you something. Yeah, well, I don't have time for newbies like you. You got something on your mind? Spill it. Um, I'd like to report someone. Or I heard that Rivet City is run by some sort of council. What can you tell me about Dr. Lee? Can I get a drink around here? Is Polly really addicted to chems? Let's get Rivet City's history from her first, because I don't know how many questions we're going to be able to ask her before she gets pissed off and walks away. Sorry, but I don't really know much about it. More worried about what's going wrong with the here and now, see? Okay, so we got Dragon Elf from the Netherlands. We got Crackmatic from England. Florisol, you're in France. That's cool. She does look a little like Captain Janeway, doesn't she, Emily? Yeah. She does look a little bit like her. <laughs> Make that my last reload, Michelle. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, you're in the UK as well, DMG. Man. Uh, okay. So, let's see here. Um, I don't know. Is Polly really addicted to chems? I don't care. But maybe it'll, we'll get a quest out of it. Let's see what happens. Six million people in uh, in Denmark, uh, Jess, Jesper? Wow. Oh, yeah. He's a mess. I'm glad I'm not in Cindy's shoes. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I heard that Rivet City is run by some sort of council. Chief Harkness meets with Dr. Lee and Bannon to discuss security matters. It's a waste of a good Monday morning, if you ask me. They should just let Chief Harkness call the shots. Hmm. Okay. Who's, uh, who's Chief Harkness? Um, what can you tell me about Dr. Lee? Because I know everybody likes to gossip. She's some sort of genius. You know, one of those egghead scientist types. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Mm. Oh, yeah, the stern end. What is this I'd like to report someone business? Oh, really? If someone took your stuff, go get it back. <laughs> if they shoot at you, shoot back. Otherwise, I've got to see it for myself before I'm going to do anything. Really? All right, that's interesting. Uh, where can I get a drink? The Weatherly Hotel is a good choice. It's on the upper deck. All right. And, um, you've been very helpful. Duty calls. Mm hmm <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, the armory's up here. I can't get in the armory. Uh, I could very possibly pick her pocket uh, and get the key, but then this guy would see me use the key. And I don't really care to get in the armory anyway, I don't think. So let's start going down. Oh. Box of detergent. I don't think I need that. 
you're, you're the only one from Vero Beach, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, you probably are. Uh, uh, let's see. All right, so this is uh, just a security guy. We don't care about him. These are just some randos down here. River City Security. If, they don't, if you don't have a name, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, so that's going to go... So this, this level just takes us out to the flight deck in a bunch of different ways. So let's go down some more. <laughs> Everybody's changing their tune about the reload now. <laughs> you make a very convincing argument, Michelle. It is cool. Right, Kart Kartik? The diversity we have here? It's pretty cool. Okay, this is going to also take me to the flight deck. I've been on the flight deck. I don't need to go on the flight deck anymore. All right, let's keep going down. All right, back out here to the stairwell. All right, down we go. And uh, let's go check out the uh, Weatherly Hotel. And this will also take us to the clinic, so we'll probably end up visiting Dr. Lee if we go through here, perhaps. Okay. Well, that's not weird. Uh, ooh, Bannon's door. It's very easily locked. We could get in it, but let's not get into trouble just yet. Oh, hi. Hello, mister. Hello, CJ Young. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Well, then why are you talking to me? Because nobody's stranger than me. Whoa, don't shut your door! <laughs> the door was open, ma'am. <laughs> Thought I was free to come in. Uh, oh, well, let's see. Christy Young and Henry Young. Wake up. Oh, what's this? A medical clipboard. Eh. Now, see, interestingly enough, this isn't stealing, but this is. Don't ask me why. Uh, let's wake these people up at um, 5.38 in the morning. Here we go. Get up. I'm going to talk to you. She should just yeah? scream, really. Oh, she looks almost exactly like Danvers, doesn't she? <laughs> looks just like her. Uh, are you related to CJ, that kid that just came out of your house, your home? She's my daughter. You can usually find her running around with that James Hargrave. <laughs> I don't know who you are, strange person. I don't know why you're asking about my young, underage daughter, but if you're looking for her, she's probably running around with that Hargrave guy. What do you people do here all day? We're the lucky ones. We don't have to fight just to survive. We have normal jobs. I clean the halls. It might not look like it, but you should have seen it before. Okay. Um, hey, tell me about Rivet City's history. Oh, I don't know about that. For all I know, it's had survivors on it since the war. I'm just thankful it's here. Maybe if you ask Bannon. He's been simply wonderful on the council, so I'm sure he'd be glad to help with your question. Well, she's very helpful. Hey, Jordan, you had a hard time keeping Jericho alive? Interesting. I don't think I've seen him die once yet. Huh. All right, thanks for your help, Christy. Goodbye. Goodbye. You go back to bed. I'm going to wake your husband up now. I do the repairs around here, <laughs> so if you see something that needs... What? This place could use a few more people willing to work. Everything is falling apart. I'm the only one willing to fix it. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice talking to you, Henry. Get up. Tell me something else. Come on, get up. I'm busy. I've got a lot of repairs to make. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice talking to you. So you like these chairs here? I mean, if they weren't all torn up, I guess they're kind of cute, right? Yeah, those are pretty neat. All right. I'm not collecting teddy bears in this game. That's in Fallout 76. Okay, the hotel's this way, the science lab's that way, the clinic's that way, and uh, nothing's that way. So it's a good thing they put those signs there, otherwise I might have gone this way. Are you talking to me? No, I'm not. What's going on here? Hey there, what's up, Flack? <laughs> he shuts the door in my face, he says, hi there, and then shuts the door. Uh, Jericho died yesterday? Flora? Really? 
Oh, that's right! That's right, well, I wasn't there, I didn't see it happen. <laughs> that's Good right. I was exploring that Mirelurk area, and then all of a sudden I got a note that said that he was dead. You're right. You're right. Good to see you. Alright, I was taking a Good drink morning. of water and I hit my microphone. Now I'm all discombobulated. Oh, okay. He's opening the door now. I better get in yes. there while I can. <laughs> hey, what's up, good shrapnel? Huh. Good to see you, too. Don't know you. Don't care. Keep it short. Don't know you. Don't care. Keep it short. All right. Nice. Uh, let's see here. What's your problem? Loosen up, pal. <laughs> what's your problem? I walk into his house, and I'm going to ask him what his problem is. Uh, know where I could offload some guns or... You some sort of tough guy? You want to try me? See, this is... Yeah, my guy's a jerk, but I'm not looking to start any gunfights. So what's your problem? Loosen up, pal. I'm short on time, and your five minutes are up. See ya. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Nice talking to you. Oh, whoa. These guys are like gun dealers, huh? I guess. Hmm. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. What's locked? I don't see anything locked. What are you talking about? What's your beef? What's my beef? Um, let's ask you about Rivet City's history. Hey, man. Hey, random person that whose home I just walked into. Tell me about Rivet City's history. History? Fuck if I know. Hell, fuck if I care. Oh, okay. He doesn't care. Um, where can I get a drink? Try the Muddy Rudder. They don't oh. ask too many questions down on the lower deck. Okay, so interesting. Danvers said to go to the hotel. He said to go... To the muddy rudder. Bye. Bye. Hey, Clay, welcome back, man. Oh, oh, I can't get out of here. <laughs> I'm trapped in here. Hey, dude, open the door so I can get out. That's so funny. Get locked inside. Hey, f oh, wait a minute. Where's Flack? I wanted to talk to Flack. Hey, Flack, what's up? I'm Flack. If you want something better than that pea shooter, stop by Flack and Shrapnels. Oh, this guy has my favorite voice. I love this guy's voice. Um, let's see here. Cute names, did you make them up, or are you just trying to look tough? <laughs> like, that's your real name? The names are good for business, and if you don't think I'm tough enough, just try me. Oh, man, I could listen to that guy talk all day. Yeah, you need something? Mmm, did you know that Polly Cantelli is an addict? I mean, why would my character say this? I don't know, but I'm gonna say it. Yeah, he's totally strung out. It's gonna kill him one of these days. Okay. Well, I don't need him to repair my stuff, but we can ask him if he knows anything about the history of Rivet City. Fred, I can't help you, pal. Been here for years, but all I know about the history is that it's a safe place to settle down. Maybe Bannon can help you out. He sure acts like he knows it all. Hmm. Looks like Bannon's the guy I need to talk to, huh? Bye. <laughs> you like his mustache better than his voice floor soul. <laughs> Yeah, Matt, I've heard that voice before on a couple other guys, but I, I just I just love that voice. I gotta find out that voice actor's name. I really, really like his voice. Let's go. Okay, so there's Bannon's door. Hey. I guess he's not up yet. It's 703. Come on, Bannon, get up. Oh. <laughs> right on Welcome time. To Potomac Attire. Hey, what's up, Bannon? Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. That was awesome. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Mm, okay, um, let's... Oh, I see you are a person of refinement, or so I'm not good enough to shop here? Or I'm here to do business with you. Um, what, so I'm not good enough to shop here? That's not what I meant. What I meant was that my goods are of the highest quality, which I assume is what you're looking for. Thanks, Emily. Uh, let's see here. Um... Let's get some Rivet City history from this guy. I think at least two people, maybe three people, have told me you know all about Rivet City's history. Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Has it? I just remembered I'm still walking around in my naughty nightwear. <laughs> Nobody said anything. Speech 50%. Hasn't Rivet City been around for longer than 12 years? 
I don't know. Has it? That's just a oh. technicality, really. This wasn't what you'd call a settlement until I whipped them all into shape. More of a camp, really. But I suppose if you really care about what they have to say, you could grill some of the hangar deck rabble. Don't expect a speck of truth from them, especially not that bartending crone, Belle Bonnie. She tells the most disgusting lies. Ooh. I can't wait until we talk to her. Uh, I guess I say that makes sense and it explains why you're on the council. Oh, he, he's passed on, Emily. Gus Travers. Okay, I'll have to look at some of his other work. Precisely. After sponsoring the settlement and organizing the city council, I took my rightful place at its head. Oh, of course, we're all equals there. People would complain if we didn't at least say that. But you and I know better, don't we? Mm-hmm, we sure do. Um, why are you guys living on this boat? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. Good point. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Somebody's got to do it. Mm. So you're on the city council, huh? Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. <laughs> okay. Uh, whoever this Seagrave is, you think he's a threat to your influence? Ooh, let's stir the pot. A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace me on the council. He's a shady character. I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room, well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Really? Hmm, okay. Well, how much do you pay, dude? Uh, it's been a pleasure, Mr. Bannon. So this is the only thing that that Gus Travers guy has done? Oh, man. That's a shame. Come back soon. Interesting. Closing time. Closing time. Oh, there we go. The door is shut. <laughs> the door has shut. Oh, it's opening again. Oh, well. Oh, Jericho, you big dummy. Get out of here, man. Gosh, shut the door, man. I'm trying to steal stuff. What can we steal? Man, he ain't got nothing in here. Because isn't this freaking... Potomac attire? I thought that I was going to be able to steal stuff from in here. But no, nothing. Nothing at all. I thought for sure I was going to be locked in here. Can I get into it? No, I can't even get into this thing. My guy's too dumb to hack into this. Alright, well, let's leave Bannon's place. Uh, let me look at my quests real quick. Let's see here. Um, quests. Yeah, we're still checking other sources to confirm Rivet City's history. So we still got more of that to do. Hello. We're not done yet. Okay. Hotel and Marketplace to the right. Science Lab and Rivet City Clinic to the left. Um, what does the map of this place look like? Local map here. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter which way I go first. Let's just go this way. Here is... Is this the hotel? The Weather... The Weatherly Hotel. Hello. How are you? For a reason. Oh my gosh. Don't get any ideas. Shut up, Diego. I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. What does that mean? Um, who is this St. Monica? St. Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The sermon will be all about St. Monica. DMG, yeah, feel free to share your site. Yeah, go ahead and post it here. Absolutely. Um, there's a church in Rivet City? Oh, yes. Father Clifford conducts services every Sunday morning. You should come. Oh, okay. If you're the acolyte who's the priest, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Father Clifford, the sanctuary is in the ship's four on the upper deck. The good father holds services every Sunday morning. Fascinating. Um, ooh, let's ask him about Rivet City's history. I heard tell the place used to be run by raiders until someone cleared the whole place out, but I don't really know for sure. That does seem to be the rumor around here. Hey, Jake, welcome, man. Uh, we're on Rivet City, and... God bless you. We are talking to a lot of people, so a lot of talking in this episode. Here's Janice Komplinski. I don't mean to interrupt your, um... 
breakfast, Janice. I mean, it is still breakfast time, isn't it? Yeah, she's, she eats an early breakfast. But she looks like she's eating a wrapped sandwich with the wrapping still on it. Either that or she's eating like a mushroom. I'm not sure what that is. I'm Janice Kaplinski, chief botanist. What do you need? What do I need? Do you know anything about Rivet City's history? If it hasn't got to do with the science quarters, I'm probably not the one to ask. And Dr. Lee's so busy, you really shouldn't disturb her work. I'll do what I want. I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, <laughs> but I really shouldn't be discussing it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. <laughs> so first, don't talk to Dr. Lee if she's busy, but now talk to Dr. Lee. And and I some rando comes in off the street. Hey, have you seen my father? Uh, yeah, I saw Dr. Lee talking to a man. Maybe that's your father. Farewell, Janet Komplinski. So long. You thought it was strange that that guy said, God bless you, Hello. Michelle? <laughs> well, he is, he is an acolyte. Hey, Dr. Preston. You're wounded. Let me bandage that. Only if it's free. Um. <laughs> what? Okay, so we could try to get him to say... Okay, so ever do facial surgery? Maybe maybe on someone from the Commonwealth. So this is related to that uh, android story that we've got. Uh, you ever do a face job on an android from the north? Jingle purse of 100 coins or caps. Uh, you're a doctor. Can you heal me? Any medical supplies? Got any chems? The place looks pretty easy to rob. You have any problems with thieves? And we can ask him about Rivet City's history. Let's do that. Oh, I'd like to help. I really would. But I don't know the first thing about this place's history. Don't let my age fool you. I may have been around for a while, but I didn't spend all that time here. Okay, that's fascinating. Um, this place looks pretty easy to rob. You have any problems with thieves? Don't get any cute ideas. Security is just a shout away. Now, if you've got any medical issues, let's hear them. <laughs> I like your attitude, Flora. Flora says, well, it's nice to meet people instead of giant ants. I agree. Um, let's see here. Let's see, let's see where he says to get a drink. The Weatherly Hotel mm. is a good choice. Yeah. It's on the upper deck. I figured he'd say that. 25% uh, chance to say ever do any facial surgery on someone from the Commonwealth. Failed. Sorry. Doctors are trained in confidentiality. They're trained in confidentiality? I don't know. Let's jingle some purse, some caps in front of him, I guess. Facial surgery is way too dangerous to try. Need special equipment and expertise. Uh. Hmm. Reminds me of this old hoax. Here, listen to this holler tape. Okay. Note added, we got the tech. Oh, something. Uh, so he gave us a uh, holler tape. Take care of yourself. Now this is all, I'm assuming, part of this other quest that we've got that I'm not really following right now. The replicated man learned more about the escaped android. Uh, he gave us a uh, holler tape. We got the tech. Now we need the dock. Let's listen to this real quick. We now have a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. We just need to find someone with the skills and willingness to perform the surgery. If anyone knows of a discreet and trustworthy surgeon who knows how to keep his mouth shut, send him our way. Also, we need to find a circuit neuralizer to reroute the signal into the android's memory. Do you know any trustworthy techies? Okay, there you go. Clay. What about meeting giant ants? A-U-N-T-S. That's funny. Uh, what do I not enable, Michelle? Something scrolled off the top of my screen and I missed it. What did I miss? Discord? Ugh. That's what I think about Discord. <laughs> did you hear that sound I made? <laughs> um, let's see here. All right. And then we got this Bannon's request just a moment ago. Bannon has asked me to search Seagrave Holmes' room to see if I could find anything incriminating about him. Then Bannon can stop him from taking over his council seat. What do I care? Unless there's caps in it for me, I, I don't care. The city council is debating putting railings on the flight deck. Well, I hope they do something. 
Remember that child God that fell off the deck last year? year. Wow, everybody yeah. talk at once. I'm sure about it. Who's this guy? What's up, Father Clifford? I am Father Whoa. Clifford of St. Monica's Whoa. Church. Look at this guy's face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Clay's trying to picture everybody else awkwardly trying to ignore this stranger listening to audio logs in the middle of the room. <laughs> hey, Nipuan, welcome back. Oh, you're watching God of War. Oh, man. It's a beautiful game. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Michelle says, not Discord enabling reading chat after the live video is done. Well, uh, yeah. If you really want to go back and look at chat, you'll have to do it on Twitch. Um... Twitch, Twitch does it, and actually so does Mixer. Uh, YouTube does technically do it, but um, when I post on YouTube, I kind of like to edit the video a little bit. I edit the audio levels. I remove some of the beginning where I'm saying hi to everybody. I just try to try to clean it up, and then when you do that, you, lo you do lose the, uh, the chat replay. But chat replay is available on Twitch and uh, Mixer. Uh, so let's ask this, this old guy, who is this Saint Monica? She is the patron saint of lost children. Very popular among the faithful of Ribbit City. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. If you want to hear her story, it will be the topic of my sermon on Sunday. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. Yeah, I'll be right there. You're a priest, huh? Yes, my flock is all of Ribbit City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. All right. Hey, best in class. Welcome. Nice to see you. Uh, let's ask him if he knows anything about Rivet City's history. Oh, it's not the past of the city that I dwell upon, but the future of its inhabitants. But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject. It's like I installed some kind of, like, 4K texture pack on his face. <laughs> Thanks for following, best in class. Um, well, let's go. St. Monica bless you. One of the new immigrants died of radiation Sometimes poisoning. I hate working with robots. Yeah, I heard she was drinking Welcome river water. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. Uh, okay, so where's the doctor? That's who I want to talk to. Is she through here, maybe? Vera Weatherly's door. Well, I guess I'm not actually in the uh, clinic yet, am I? I'm, I'm in the hotel. Uh, so this is Vera Weatherly's place. Don't really see anything interesting upon first glance. So we need to go find uh, Dr. Lee. Maybe learn more about uh, Rivet City's history here. Cool, thanks, best in class. Awesome. Best in class is watching from Mixer. I don't get a lot of people watching from Mixer. I really don't know why. Some sort of battle in the city yesterday. The gate guard said that the gunfire went on for over an hour. That's why I'm glad I'm in here. Good old Rivet City. Uh-huh. Me too. Nothing is getting through these walls. Nothing's getting through these walls. So here's somebody's hotel Hello. room. Oh, Victoria Watts. Oh, I don't know. Let's just walk into this person's random room and speak with them. You've been rather busy lately. Asking questions. Mm -hmm. Investigating. Yep. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Word travels or you fast. Have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone. Please tell me. I'd oh. really like to know. <laughs> so she's upset because she heard me, I guess, asking questions about this android. Uh, who the hell are you? Or I think you're confusing me with someone else. Or look, whoever this missing android is, I just want to help, okay? <laughs> uh, what I do with my own time is my own goddamn business. Nice. That sounds like what my character would say. Let's say that. Don't you realize what you're doing? The path you're on has the potential to ruin a man's life. Is that what you really want? Listen to me. I'm involved with a movement that has dedicated itself to saving these runaway androids. I can't let you interfere with that work. Oh, really? Okay, well what would you have me do? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll have saved a man's life. 
All right, I'm not really looking to save a life. I'm looking to make some caps, lady. If I help you, is there some kind of reward? Of course. If you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Is there any better compensation? No, yes, there is better com compensation. It's called caps. What's this movement you mentioned? We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Hmm. So you, Mixer is uh, its just like Twitch. It's just Microsoft's Twitch. Microsoft made their own streaming service. That's what, that's what Mixer is. And then uh, I think it was Clay who said that um, Discord is kind of like Slack for gamers. That's a good description, but it doesn't help if you don't know what Slack is. <laughs> just kind of like a messaging application. Thanks for stopping by, Kartik. Uh, anything else I should know? Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in mm. you... Don't take that away from him. There's not a whole lot of decency in me, lady. Um, what about human slaves? Don't you try to help them too? Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Oh, okay. Can I join the... Boy, th there's a lot of things happening out of order here. I'm going to say, can I join the railroad? I don't even know what the railroad is yet, do I? I mean, I know, because I remember the railroad from Fallout 4, but my character doesn't know who the railroad is, and I don't think she mentioned it. Maybe she did, and I didn't hear it. Um, can I join the railroad? Tell you what. You deliver that component to Zimmer, and tell him the android is dead, and you can consider yourself a member in good standing. Lady, you haven't offered me anything. I have to go now. You know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. Yeah, I need to go find this android and see if I can make caps off of him. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Uh, we've got a hotel room door here. Uh, we've got a really sister's hotel room. Into there. Oh my god, I just looked at it. <laughs> and here is the Rivet City Market. Hey. Huh, the clinic is this way? How did I miss the clinic? It says, okay, the clinic is this way. All right, okay, hold on. We'll go back to the clinic. Hold on. Don't you worry. Welcome back, Jake. Oh, da -da -da. Let's go into the marketplace. Emily, I could not have said it better. Single player is better. I play games to escape. I don't want others messing with that. Don't mess with my game. <laughs> That's why I just prefer single player. That's how I. That's how I roll. This is my world. And I don't want other people messing with it. Yeah, Meta understands too. Don't you have a component to deliver? Don't you have a business to mind, your own? Hello. Hi, Tammy Hargrave. How you doing? Yeah. What do you want? Oh gosh, she was all friendly just a second ago. She was all like, "Hello." You don't have to be such a bitch. Oh, really? My husband ran off and got himself killed and left me to raise his little brat. So don't you tell me how I should or shouldn't be. <laughs> DMG says that she mostly plays all games that I play and I'm single-handedly bankrupting her. <laughs> uh, I think by the time I play them, or by the time you play them, they're on sale, aren't they, DMG? <laughs> There's that bo voice. It's music to my ears. Uh, Capital Preservation Society. Okay, let's look around in here first before we go through any doors. Gosh, look at these steep steps. This will take us to uh, Rivet City. To the Gate Bridge. Is that what that said? Gate Bridge? Alright. This is the market? There's a workbench that I haven't bothered to use yet. I don't know if I'll ever use that. 
<laughs> Jake, you play single player because you're lonely. <laughs> Snowwalker, you also like single player. Yeah. Oh, well said. I play to get away from people, not be around more. That's funny. Oh, hey, what's up, Mei Wong? Stay away from me. Oh, gosh. What do you want? Jeez. Are you one of them? What is your problem? Yes, I am one of them. I have been for years. Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. What are you scared of? Or lady, you're nuts. Let's lie to her and freak her out a little bit. No. Don't take me back. I would rather die than be a slave Ooh. for that awful Alistair Tenpenny. What's this now? Uh, don't worry. I would never turn in a runaway slave. Or so you're an escaped slave. Now I understand. Or, hey, it's none of my business. Let the past be the past. I don't know. So now I understand. You're an escaped slave. Interesting. Hmm. No. Please don't tell sister. I think he's a slaver. I don't want to be taken by him. Okay. Um, who's the sister? A nun? No. He's a big, scary slaver. He's staying at the Weatherly Hotel. I try to avoid him because he might recognize me. Hmm. Okay. Um... I'm not going to give her any caps. You're on your own, lady. I'm not getting involved. I suppose it was wrong of me to ask you for help. I won't talk to you about this again. Did she even ask me for help? My character's not going to help her. My character sucks. Who's this? Welcome to a quick fix. Cindy Kent Kentelli. This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. Yeah, Jake, we got a lot of nice people here. A lot of nice people. Stick around, man. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> we could say, damn. <laughs> you sound like you've been sampling your own stuff. Or relax, I'm just looking around, or what do you have for sale? Uh, let's say this one. No, no, no. I would never do that. Polly does. Sample it. I mean, he's my deadbeat husband. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So uh, your husband is an addict, huh? Why do I care? He's hopeless. I have to keep him away from the shop, or I'll rob us blind. One of these days, he's going to end up dead. Hmm. Hey, Penguin, welcome back. So you play single player because your internet was too bad for multiplayer. And there are no other kids nearby your age, so no couch co-op. Yep. Yeah, I, I can see that happening. What do you get for sale? We've got all kinds of chems. Mm, she's got chems for sale, but I'm really more interested in selling off some extra stuff if I'm carrying any. Uh, let's see. What am I carrying? Have I picked anything up recently? I don't want this hunting rifle. We'll sell that off. And, um, I'm also going to sell off, um, what, sensor modules? Sure. Sell those off. And I'm still, I'm still wearing this shady hat. I must look ridiculous. I don't need two stealth boys. Oh, I'm already a... Ah, doggone it. I was looking up here. I'm already above the cap limit. Let's see if she has any stim packs. She could trade with me to even this out there we go okay um okay this is a pretty pretty fair trade i feel like a pleasure doing business with you yes pleasure uh, okay let us uh, let us ask her about rivet city's history this is fascinating well i don't really know to tell the truth how does any city get started really but I've heard Bannon talk about how he was responsible for its success. So I'd ask him about it. You're taking your dog uh, out for, uh, oh, to go to potty, DMG. Okay, cool. I don't remember you telling, did you tell us what kind of dog it is, DMG? I asked yesterday and I don't think I ever saw the answer. Maybe you don't want to tell us. I don't know. I don't want to pester you. I'm sure you'll be back soon. Uh, okay, she's sure we'll be back soon. Yeah, I'll be back the next time you have more caps for me to take from you. Oh, here's Seagrave Holmes. What's up? Welcome to Rivet City Supply. I've got a little bit of everything here. Uh-huh. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. Did he just shake his hand? Uh, <laughs> you got a T-51B? No, then you don't have everything. <laughs> Let's say that. A what? Look, if you just want to crack wise, go somewhere else. But if you've got stuff you want to sell, then I'm your man. A cardigan corgi. Oh, that's so cute. You have four pugs, Clay? <laughs> I 
my gosh. Uh, that must be funny watching those things run around. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, geez, so we're still talking about this android. Hmm. Well, what do you know about Rivet City's history? Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. But I never really cared about the politics. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for stopping by, Neil Puan. I hope to see you again. Snow Walker, you have a Boston Terrier. Those are cute dogs. Um, let's see here. Huh. Can you think of anyone from back then who might know more about Rivet City's history? Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. And he must have left about a decade ago, after that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken-off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. Okay. You have a Dalmatian and a Yorkie, Jake? That's an interesting combination. <laughs> it's very interesting. <laughs> uh, I don't have any pets. I'd love to have a dog, but I always have said that if I got a dog, I'd want to have a yard for it to run around in, and we don't have a yard. Oh, let's ask this guy what he could tell us about the reconstruction, because this is fascinating. Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the Mirelurks used to nest, and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. I guess the mutants and the Myers got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place shipshape. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands now. Okay, that's great. Let us stop talking about ri Rivet City. Penguin has a German Shepherd. Oh, right. Cool. I sort of lose track of time talking about the old girl. Clapshire, welcome back. Um, well, I don't know. Let's ask him if he knows anything about an escaped android. I don't know. Yep. Old Pinkerton. Oh. They say he helped found Rivet City. Must be some sort of crazy genius. Mm. He kind of vanished a long time ago. I don't know where he went, but you might ask around the ship. Happy birthday to Axel, Jake. Okay, find out what Pinkerton at Rivet City knows about the android. All right. Um, well, I don't really think I have anything to, to uh, sell this guy, so I guess I'm just going to leave. See you later. Yeah, let's hear about your cat, Darko. Cats are cool, too. Hey, hey, what's up, Brock? Don't tell me your problems. Fine, I won't. So are we still looking for information on Rivet City, for crying out loud? Yes, we are. We're still looking for information about fascinating Rivet City. Let's see who else we could talk to. With wine. Leave the bottle. James has been bad. He gets a carrot and some water. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> James has been bad. Be with you in a minute. <laughs> he gets a carrot and some water. That cracked me up. <laughs> What's up, Gary Staley? Let me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Lurk cakes, although the iguana is very popular too. Look at this kid. Look at the look on this. This is the look of a kid who's getting a carrot and water for dinner. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, um, my alert gives me gas. I'd rather have squirrel. Uh, maybe you should sit in the corner. I can check to see if we have any squirrel, if you wish. <laughs> Clay says, I just wanted to say watching you play games is as relaxing as watching Bob Ross paint. That's not weird. You're not the first person to say that either. I've had other people say the same thing. Especially when I was playing No Man's Sky. A lot of people brought up the Bob Ross thing during No Man's Sky, but then again... I want to say I was playing No Man's Sky when he died, but for some reason I'm thinking he died longer ago than that. I don't know. Anyway, I just remember getting a lot of Bob Ross comments during No Man's Sky. I like it. Bob Ross is awesome. Oh, golly gee, let's ask him if he knows anything about Rivet City's history. I'm about I'm about done asking people about Rivet City's history, but you gotta do what you gotta do, man. I know a lot of places opened up when they got the hydroponics bay working, but that's hardly the start of it all, is it? 
Actually, Vera Weatherly might know more. Mm. She's always here and talking with folks, so if anyone's picked up a story or two, it'd be her. Mm. Okay, great. Hey, man, I love to spread rumors. Did you know that Polly Cantelli is an addict? Yeah, he comes by every night around closing time and tries to get Cindy to let him close up. Thank God she's smarter than that. Okay. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to your customers, Gary. Thanks for all the information. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. <laughs> uh, Tammy, we we tried to talk to earlier, but she didn't have much to say to us, right? Yeah. What do you want? Wasn't she, yeah, she was the one who was all like all rude, and I said you don't have to be a bitch. Uh, hey, um, is that your son running around here? The one that's sitting on the other side of the table from you? Yeah, that's James. My own little troublemaking brat. I'd sell him to you if they'd let me. Unless you've got any more personal questions, I'm busy. Alright, fine. What about the kid? Let's, let's be the creepy I'll old right guy that you. talks to children. What's Don't up, James? Me, hey, James is the one who's friends with CJ Young, right? What do you want? Mmm... What do I want? Um... <laughs> you don't need to be scared, son. He doesn't seem scared. These are both really creepy things to say, don't you think? Walk up to a strange kid and say, so where's your family? Or you don't need to be scared, son. I don't know. Where's your family? My mom is probably drunk and my she dad's said... dead. Oh. Is that good enough for you, asshole? Hey, whoa, whoa. What's up, Angela? Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? Um... Why is this place called Gary's Galley? It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. Is he? Why is James Hargrave such a brat? James's mom, Tammy, is a real bitch. She treats him like crap. I think it's because she drinks too much. Mm, okay. Fascinating. Um, do the man on this ship give you t much trouble? You mean like hitting on me? No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. So you and Diego are in love? Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Mm, okay. Well, you're a woman. Just seduce him. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think I could get him drunk enough to do that. I wish I had some amp pheromones. Oh! Trini says they would make any man lose control. Ant pheromones? All right. Well, gosh, tell me about Rivet City's history. I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC, but I don't really know. <laughs> Just got roasted by a kid, right, Jake? Uh, okay, I better get going, Angela. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. All right, this is, this is fascinating. I can't believe that there are still more people I need to talk to to get the history of Rivet City. This will take us back out to the flight deck again, but this is going to be a different level of flight deck. Let's pop our head out here and see what it looks like. Oh man, watch your step. Yikes. Okay, well, I guess this is just maybe a little smoking area, although it looks like people just smoke indoors here. All this time, ant pheromones were the key, right, Emily? That's it. You just need some ant pheromones. Well, yes. this is, uh, this here is the gate bridge. Oh, oh, we're back here. Okay, cool. All right. Well, I'm going to end the stream here today. Uh, when we come back next time, I mean, golly, I mean, to tell you the truth, I really don't want to go back in there and talk more about Rivet City's history, but... I want to finish that optional quest there. You know me, I like to complete things as much as I can. So next episode, we'll probably go back in there. Although what I really want to do is do some exploring. That's what I like to do most. Um, and yes, I guess technically we are exploring inside of Rivet City there. But uh, I don't know, man. I get a little tired of talking to everybody. Uh, but we'll see what happens next time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me again. I really love how you all talk amongst yourselves. It was like, I almost felt like I was sitting in a room, like a big room, and I was over in the corner uh, playing a game, and you guys were all just in the room just talking amongst yourselves. And that was awesome. So I hope you had a good time. Hope you all have a good night, and I hope you join me again tomorrow, 1.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. That's what time I stream every day. Take care, everybody. See you tomorrow.